Hey there, you're about to watch a quick clip from Marketing O'Clock, your friendly neighborhood digital marketing news podcast with new episodes every Friday. Don't forget to like and subscribe to us here on YouTube or look for Marketing O'Clock wherever you listen to your podcast. All right, and from Neva, uh, Neva AI is here, according to the founder of Neva. It is powered by AI and LLMs, or large language models. And Neva's independent search stack to search in an authentic, believable way. You get paid to have a professional. It's free if you want us to be free with ads. And you can hop in, you set up an account, and then you can start seeing the Neva AI rolling out. The one thing that was a little bit wonky with Neva AI is it doesn't happen for every query. It only happens for some. It says Neva AI beta. It kind of types it out like it's on a typewriter if you actually do that search here. And it seems to be okay. Like you can see where it's going. It's still not like the best yet. And I think the hard thing is going to be using AI and getting some of the, the information that's like super real-time stuff right. Mm -hmm. Because you can only go out and index so much stuff and have it be fresh. And a good example of this was I had asked Neva AI, uh, who's the best bet to win the Super Bowl? And they said... The best bet to win the Super Bowl is the Buffalo Bills. Shout out tables with a plus 420 odds. They are currently the favorites to win the Vince Lombardi Trophy come next February. Actually, this February. But isn't the best bet like a long shot where you could win Maybe. a lot of money? Mm. But then they go on to say other teams with good odds to win the Super Bowl are the Kansas City Chiefs, plus 500. They're actually the favorites right now. They're plus 350. Then they said the Dallas Cowboys plus 2,800. They're actually half that. They're 1,200. And then they said the Los Angeles Rams at plus 1,100. The Rams have been eliminated from the playoffs. <laughs> oh. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that bet. I don't think you can take that bet. But you can see some of the real-time stuff. It's still not the best data, obviously. Um, and I know that Chat GPT had stopped, I believe it was like a two-year period that it only went back to. So you couldn't use it for like real-time stuff, like on purpose. They didn't want that to happen. Um, and to me, that's where it would be the most powerful from a search engine standpoint is if you can get the freshest results. And obviously, that's going to be troublesome, at least with Chat GPT, if they don't bring in the, you know, the, the, the rest of that, the rest of the content from like more recent times. Um, additionally, when you asked who was going to win the AFC this year, they said it was the Chiefs and the Ravens, which goes against the Bills being the best Super Bowl bet there. So um, not perfect. And I also put in Marketing O'Clock, just our brand name here of our podcast, and they Neva AI gave a definition based off AI saying, Marketing O'Clock is a weekly digital marketing news podcast. It covers topics such as SEO, PPC, and social media marketing. The podcast dives deep into the latest online marketing news, studies, trends, and updates, and examines how they will impact real-life KPIs. I think I might have written that in 2019. Are you sure? Saying. That's very nice. The good thing is they cite their sources very well, and they kind of show mm. where they pulled parts from. So one of those parts was coming from Amazon. Another was coming from Apple. So... Um, pretty cool. If you want to see more AI in the search results pages, head on over to Neva. That is N-E-E-V-A. You might have set up an account, but for many queries, you will then see um, the Neva AI at work. Thanks again for watching Marketing O'Clock. We love you forever. If you'd like this video, subscribe to our channel and share it with a friend. And don't forget, you can also catch our Famous Friday news show on your favorite podcast player every week.